guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. We've already unboxed it and now we're gonna bring you a UI tour. Uh, we've got a PlayStation 4 in office. It's great. I've got a DualShock 4 in hand. We've already synced it. We've already done all the things, but we do have some updates that we need to do. So let's get started with the PlayStation 4. Okay, so we've started our setup and it's asking us to connect our PlayStation camera, which we don't have. So we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Uh, we're gonna set our date and time. So we're gonna look for our minus eight Pacific time and select date and time. All of that looks right. So let's go ahead and hit next. I obviously got your lovely, lovely user agreements. Um, I read really fast. So I'm gonna read through this whole thing really quickly. Everything looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept it at the bottom really fast reader. Uh, see, and that's it. Set up your PS4 is complete. It's super easy. Uh, and then once you do that, we're going to walk right into the UI. So this is the new home hub for your PlayStation 4. It's a little reminiscent of your PlayStation 3, but there's definitely a lot more sort of graphics on your screen. You don't have to worry about, you know, lists and lists and lists of things, which was a little frustrating in the PlayStation 3. Uh, we can sign into the PSN, which we'll do in a second. Um, here is your screen. This obviously looks very familiar uh, from your PlayStation 3 menu. Here's your friends, messages, parties, profile, trophies, and your settings. Obviously, here's your power button and the PlayStation Store all the way on the left. Um, so let's head into settings and just take a look at what we have available to us. Uh, they do have a user's guide available on board, which is very nice. Uh, your PSN settings, data handling, notifications, your login settings. Uh, you can set up parental controls if you're buying a PS4 for your kid and what a lucky kid they are this holiday season. So good on you for being an awesome parent. Uh, application save data management, system storage, system software updates, uh, which we are actually gonna do. We're gonna get this system software update going, but we have to set up our network first. So let's connect to the internet. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna check for our connection. It's gonna test it. There we go. It's been successful. So our connection test is now complete. And there's our very first notification, a system software update. That is our day one patch. So we're gonna go back and check that out. Um, oops, I went back too far. So let's go into settings and let's hit up that lovely system software update. So here's your system software update available, 1.5. Uh, we're gonna hit next and we are going to update that. So here it is, 323 megabytes. Uh, we have a relatively fast connection here, so it's gonna be about 10 minutes and then it's gonna restart a couple of times. Uh, so when that's done, it'll probably take about 20 minutes total, maybe a little less to get everything up and running with the day one patch. Uh, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check out the UI. All right, so we're back. Welcome back to PlayStation. Hit the PS button, use the controller. Uh, it's wanting to know who's using the controller. We're just gonna say user one for right now. Uh, it wants us to sign into PSN, which of course is central to your PlayStation experience. You're gonna wanna download games and all that stuff. Uh, so we are going to sign in with our ID and password, but you can't look, so we'll be right back. So as you're logging into everything with PSN, you have some privacy options. You can choose who you wanna share your activity information with. You can choose who you wanna share your friends list with. And of course, it's gonna want you to log in with Facebook. Uh, so if you have Facebook, you can log in, but if not, uh, you can just choose do this later. So it also wants you to join PlayStation Plus, but on PlayStation 4, you're gonna need it to have online multiplayer. You're still gonna get those really cool free games uh, that PlayStation Plus has offered historically, which is great. Um, but the good news is, is if you get a PS4 right now in the launch window, you're gonna get a free trial of PlayStation Plus, which is pretty cool. So um, you can sign up for either 12, three or one month memberships, depending on what you wanna do. There are codes to redeem. We do have one, so we'll go ahead and sign up for that um, when we have our accounts logged in here at the office, but I'm gonna skip it for now. And you can actually activate a system as your primary PS4. So basically, this is the part of the system where if you activate this particular console as your primary PS4, every user on this system is gonna have access to the applications and different things that you get with PlayStation Plus. However, if you log into a system that is not your primary PS4, so let's say 
you log in as a user on your friend's PS4 because you want to access something. Uh, you will only have access to the stuff you've bought. You will not have access to somebody else's PlayStation Plus, uh, all their stuff. You won't have access to that at all. So if you, uh, but on PlayStation 4, you're going to need it to have online multiplayer. You're still going to get those really cool free games uh, that PlayStation Plus has offered historically, which is great. Um, but the good news is, is if you get a PS4 right now in the launch window, you're going to get a free trial of PlayStation Plus, which is pretty cool. So um, you can sign up for either 12, three or one month memberships, depending on what you wanna do. There are codes to redeem. We do have one, so we'll go ahead and sign up for that um, when we have our accounts logged in here at the office, but I'm gonna skip it for now. And you can actually activate a system as your primary PS4. So basically, this is the part of the system where if you activate this particular console as your primary PS4, Every user on this system is going to have access to the applications and different things that you get with PlayStation Plus. However, if you log into a system that is not your primary PS4, so let's say you log in as a user on your friend's PS4 because you want to access something, uh, you will only have access to the stuff you've bought. You will not have access to somebody else's PlayStation Plus, uh, all their stuff. You won't have access to that at all. So if you have a multi uh, let's say you're in a frat house or you have friends, you live with your friends, you only want your own account activity with your PlayStation Plus, then you don't want to make this your primary PS4. Um, and then every user will have their own separate memberships, applications, benefits, all that stuff. All right, so we are logged in. Uh, we're going to be able to check out all the great things now. This is, this is where it gets really exciting. We've got TV and video already. Uh, you can download pretty much anything here. Really like the format of these. These are really nice, large icons. So you can see what you're downloading. It's not really, really tiny or uh, in any way, shape, or form subtle, which I actually really like. You can have your videos here. Here's where your music's going to be. Uh, however, you're not going to be able to put in a CD in the PlayStation 4. That's one thing that is not available to you. Um, no external media playback. So you're gonna have to get your music from Sony Music Unlimited, although to be fair, uh, Yoshida has said that they are looking into being able to use external media, so that may come in a later update. There's also the trophy system. One of the things they've added, if you want to check out Dragon Age Origins, uh, they've actually added rarity markers. So uh, you can see right here, ultra rare, 1.4% of players have completed this particular trophy, which is obviously all of the other trophies. Um, so you can tell why it's rare. This one's common, obviously the human noble origin story from Dragon Age uh, Origins, 56% of gamers have completed this. Um, I, uh, I played this game many, many years ago. Uh, but you can see there are some rare trophies that have been unlocked and very rare. There's ultra rare. Uh, so I really like this sort of rarity system that they've added. They sort of pulled this um, in as a feature that other people have enjoyed on other platforms, um, Steam in particular. So very, very cool. Uh, that's it for our tour. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we are dying to know what you want us to check out today with the PS4 as we continue our coverage. So feel free to let us know in the comments and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys. What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.